for Wales. There have been eight changes made by Johan Cunningham. The headline in the forwards is that captain Shuan Lillicrap has been switched from number eight to lock to allow the impressive Seanad Harries to go from number eight. There is space in the back row for the no fear flanker Alex Callender in the open side. It's also an all new front row. Donna Rose, Kelsey Jones and Cara Hope all lining up together. In the backs, there's a switch at halfback. Fionn Lewis and Robin Wilkins lining up together for the first time in the tournament. Karen Lake and Hannah Jones reprise their centre combination and Neve Terry is at fullback. For Italy, the mantra, don't change your winning team prevails, or at least don't change your winning team much. Just the one change then for the starting 15 who beat Scotland, Sylvia Tonani gets a first start at loose head prop since returning to action after a knee injury. Melissa Batoni therefore returns to her customary position of hooker, having deputised brilliantly at loose head against Scotland. The backs are familiar as they have been for many years in this Italian backline. None more so than Sara Baratin, who is playing against Wales for a 15th time in her career. On the Welsh bench, Clakey George starts potentially from the bench to make her first introduction to the championship, whilst the youngster, Francesca Granzotto, will make her debut if she enters the fray. And then it is on the right, and that centre pairing, Karen Lake, just in shots, and Hannah Jones, all important to Wales's backline functioning. Robin Wilkins at 10 today, no Elna Snowsill in the 23. So much experience in the hands and in the boots of Robin Wilkins. Here we go, Wales with the advantage right from kickoff. Hold here. Jasmine Joyce plays scrum half for Wilkins. Straight through the middle. Alicia Butchers is off and she stretching her legs, handing off, still going. Blockbuster beginning from Alicia Butchers. Nice seven, eight phases there. Just give chance to, for Wales to have a bit of a settled time with the ball as well. And Wales haven't scored the first try in any of their first four matches in this championship. They've been chasing games and they've done that superbly. It's a lot of go forward across the pack for Wales. Chance for Italy perhaps to get some go forward of themselves as Medea finds Rigoni, but so far behind the game line. There is space, however. Cutting back goes out of Muzzo. This is exactly the conditions you want for the final rounds of the Six Nations Championship. Over 3,000 spectators in the stands today. And Butchers gets going again. Good pass from the blind side. Wilkins gives it to Hannah Jones. And the Terry Neu Lisa Neumann shows her wheels. Excellent run from Lisa Neumann. Butchers goes to work again. She has topped the statistics pile in so many categories, Alicia Butchers for Wales. In this championship, Fionn Lewis gets Wales going again. And Set. Wales with the territory over the first 10 minutes. And now they have the ball. What a scrum from the eight. Sean and Harry's now picks and goes. Fionn Lewis goes off on a caper by herself. Gwen Crabb, one of three players in the team who's played every minute of this year's championship for Wales. Now over to Jones, and Jones will step and place the fend on Madia. Gets going again, Hannah Jones. That's the Italian 22 line. Wilkins goes to Terry. Good hands again, and now the captain, Lilla Crapp, and Neumann steps, and Neumann now fends. Lisa Neumann, three away. Go Wales, wonderful break from the right winger. Italy knock back the next wave. It'll be a penalty well, Wales. They are building. Great to see that from Neumann, wasn't it? You know, we're so used to her cutting back inside because of her physicality. She likes to take that contact, but great to see her take an edge and getting some gains for it as well. Wilkins resets and it's now along to Jazz Joyce. Ducks on the inside. Alicia Butchers is already at 100 in this contest. Jones. Well in the last couple of outings. Certainly Wales given a good test by France last week, but across the championship, it's been a good source of possession. 
So two for Italy. And Rigoni. A deliberate move from Wales as they try and take every second out of the clock. Fionn Lewis goes long with the box kick and Italy almost crossing their wires and then Muzzo escapes right through the gap. Tackled by Terry. It was a good one. Forlan on from Madia. Silari has numbers away. Magatti. Madia, the backs want it and they'll stretch Wales here. Coming out of the line was late. This goes along to Giordano. Alisa Giordano escapes the first tackles, reaches out. So close. Baratin could sneak it from here. The scrum half, she gives it on to Magatti. Second run of this set from the left sided winger. On from Lucia Guy. Rigoni has seen space in behind. This is a foot race. Going back is Terry. No blow, leave. You're off your feet. Lewis. So those Simbin for Wales running down. Can Italy make these extra players pay before it's back to all square? Tackle! Wales and Cara Hope securing the ball. The forwards will set again. Calendar. Jones is rock steady over the ball and Butchers. And those Welsh fans on the far side do their bit to help out their team. The ball will stay in. Can Italy launch an attack from deep? Forlan onto Muzzo. Again, and this is Veronese. The blindside flanker gets it onto Sara Baratin. Drops it down. Italy finally make the breakthrough. And it's Sara Baratin. The 13 of Wales eventually unpicked. Yeah, yeah, it all came from just that lack of ability to relieve the pressure from Wales. You know, two poor kicks there from Hannah Jones, not finding touch. Puts the Welsh defence under massive pressure, but I like, I'm liking to see that the Italians' back line, and particularly the forwards, you know, we're seeing forwards out there, another flanker in that wide channel, trying to keep the ball alive. They don't want to, they don't want to almost take it to contact and create that ruck. They're looking to keep it keep it off the shoulders and they've, you know, again, like, what a great support line. You, you expect that from your flight, uh, your scrum half, don't you? Michaela Silari has 100% kick success in the Six Nations so far. That is six from six. And she will add to that at the Arms Park. It is all seven for Italy. Donna Rose almost drawing that back on the Welsh side. Mistake from Wales. But that'll be the half. So Italy will get to half time with that lead. Seven points to nil thanks to Sara Baratin. And it was against 13 women of Wales. Baratin and her Italian mates eventually getting the only score of the half. It's been a compelling one, if not the free scoring first time. Find. Set. Johan Cunning and feeling Early. that something had to change, and it's the captain who's made way. Early push. And there's numbers here for Wales if they can exploit it. Calendar has Rigoni for attention. Butchers onto Harry's. She spins and then sets her feet. Veronica Madia. Rigoni heads after this. And Rigoni claims it. Flies it out to Muzzo, who gets on the inside. Now Madia cuts back, and Terry is having to watch. And Butchers takes her to ground. Passed on. Duca hits the line. 
Lucia Guy can't clear out the Welsh Jacklers, Donna Rose and Callender again. Callender on Tunesi for chapter number two. That time, Callender escapes Tunesi. But Tony finds Duca and Balatine and Furlan connect. Wales steal it this time. <laughs> Wales leaving it as late as possible to get on the board, but Robin Wilkins does just that. Generally means we, we uh, miss an opportunity Set. to convert into points. Wales' scrum sends Italy backwards at a rate of knots. And a voice from the Five. stands. Set. Can it inspire Wales forward again? Bevan has a scrum going forward to work from. And Wales go with Harry's. Bethan Lewis, calendar, picked up by Kira Bevan. And she sets the Cardiff Arms Park alight. Wales leaving it late again. <laughs> Harry's firstly, then Lewis. Calendar with the important ruck. What's to Italy have left in the tank? A drop goal from this position, potentially. Rigoni is just taking herself away from the action and barking the orders, the inside centre. Tunesi, advantage from in front of the posts. And Wales were offside. It has been a tight one at the Arms Park today. Seven, ten, ten. And Michaela Sillery puts Italy on the right side of it again. Wales needing to claim it, anything other, and Italy have the game. It's right on the money, Jazz Joyce reaches, but this will go out, and Italy, cautious eyes to the referee, but they have the victory at the death. For a long, long time in this match, it was the Italians that led the way. Wales had that chance to sneak it, but there was Michaela Sillery, dead-eyed from the tee. And it is Italy who have beaten Wales at the Arms Park. Ten points to eight.